The Morgan State Bears won for the first time this season at homecoming, defeating the Savannah State Tigers 48-28. They played in front of a crowd over 10,000 that included students, alumni, and former players as well. The offense was led by quarterback Elijah Staley, who had his best game of the season, throwing three touchdowns and no interceptions. We, I, we were happy with Eli. He made good decisions. He, didn't, he only forced really one throw. We felt like he forced and didn't end up in an interception, but he did some good things. We're happy with his development. Hopefully, he'll continue to get better every week. Me and my receiver, we've always been cool since I got here, you know, but it's just things weren't clicking and we weren't trusting the process. And, but, you know, it's good now. We're happy. We're all excited, you know, we get a win. It's always good to get a win. We're going to keep going from here. we got to keep working hard. We can't settle. Just keep going. Staley looked calm and confident with his throws, mainly because he was finally supported by a ground game. Running back Eric Correll led the team with 114 yards, averaging over 7 yards per rush. He provided Morgan's first lead with a touchdown in the first quarter. Starter Herb Walker Jr. contributed over 100 yards as well and did not mind splitting the backfield with Harrell. That's cool. It, it saved my legs a little bit because <laughs> I know what I can do if I'm out there all day. I'm super happy that we were able to rush for over 200 yards and then get two guys over 100 yard threshold. Walker Jr. led the team in carries with 19, a season high for him. He also scored in the second quarter when the Bears began to pull away. He continued to wear down Savannah's defense into the fourth quarter as he ran the clock down while the game was well out of hand. We just executed like we were supposed to do, like we've been working all week in practice. And like I said, like my teammates, you know, it, was just, it was just exciting to watch them play. You know, I was out there throwing balls and I was like, wow, man, this is amazing just, you know, being out here just watching them play, do what they do. The play of the game came on a deep pass to wide receiver Manasaw Bailey from Staley late in the second quarter. On a big play, yeah. my coach, he was standing right beside me. He said, just run, just run. Because he know I'm, I'm, uh, I'm kind of fast. Mm -hmm. So he said, just run, just run, just get out there. He said, go. The ball was snapped, and I just took off. Fans had plenty to cheer about this game. The 48 points the Bears scored is the most since the 2015 season. The band was also in rare form, keeping the crowd pumped and into the high-scoring affair. The 34-point lead they took into the fourth quarter was a reason to celebrate, especially with the performance of the team in the first five games. The cheerleaders also got into the spirit, even inviting alumni and students on the field to join them for a routine. It almost makes no difference who we're playing against. We have to go take care of more of the state, do the things that we're supposed to do, and we'll have success, and our guys did that for the most part today. The defense continued its strong performance from the season. They held the Tigers to an incredible negative eight yards rushing thanks to seven sacks. They forced two fumbles that set up the offense in good field position. Even though they gave up the most yards through the air this game, they kept pressure on Savannah's quarterbacks all game, forcing them into many mistakes, even one interception. You know, we talk to our entire team about protecting the football. That's one of the first tenets of playing good offensive football. You can't turn the ball over. There are not many teams in the country that are going to turn the ball over six times like we did against South Carolina State and have a chance to win the game and win. Despite winning the turnover battle with three and another blocked kick, not all the bounces went the Bears' way, and they ended up giving up two touchdowns in garbage time, making the final score 48-28. After the game, the team took a walk through the new Legends Plaza and through the stadium to share this win with the fans. I think we made less mistakes. I think we were able to capitalize on some of the opportunities that we had. And our guys just played better. They were locked in, they were focused, and they just did more of what we asked them to do. And I think if we can continue to do that, I think we're going to continue to develop, play better, and continue to be in a position where we have a chance to finish off in the football game.